and welcome to No Cabin Fever today. With us is Adrian Landecker and he talks about Jira project management with Gantt and resource planning. The stage is yours. Hi everyone, can you hear me? Everything should yes. be fine now? Great, okay. So I will logging on with my screen video now so to say hi then I will uh, disable it because I will show my screen now. So um, maybe to introduce myself I'm Arian Landeker I'm 29 years old I'm working for yeah four and a half years now as an Atlassian consultant for for the company Stagile and um, my today's topic is uh, to show you a little showcase how, how we do the project management with Jira, including some Gantt and resource metrics and management tasks. So um, when I want to begin, I would like to show you the Jira task. So a simple Jira task. And we'll go to the PM1. And uh, since my topic today is pretty intense and can be discussed in the long term, and I have not that much time, much time, I would like to just showcase and maybe talk with you to for one or two topics um, for this task management. So, how we approached to this topic is to create a Jira project with the name Projects and Portfolios, and here we have created some issue types like project and portfolio to manage all our projects and portfolios. So the name of the program here um, as a Jira issue. So like this, we have the Jira issue from the type portfolio. And like this, we can show with all our custom fields and attributes how this portfolio will be managed. So when I'm scrolling down, I see some attributes like the budget and the sum up budget I can see other issued issues which are linked or assigned um, to this portfolio. I can, for example, see other included projects. So every uh, Jira user uh, will already see that these other projects are simple Jira issue tasks. So I have like the improved global data center access rules is my PM5. I can see some attributes like the budget, the start date and the end date, all the status. So when I'm clicking um, on this uh, demo project plan two now to show you the project, it will open another Jira task from the type project. I can see the priority. I can see the, the, the um, attached label for my team, for example, I have some traffic lights. I can see who is the project customer, for example, and I can see that this project is attached to the, is, is part of the portfolio infrastructure development, for example. And here I have other attributes, other custom fields um, that I need to manage my projects, like the project staff. I can see that um, Adrian Lanneker, Dennis Wright, and Daniel Fiatta are working here uh, with me. Uh, in this case, I'm a developer, Dennis Wright, for example, as a project management office, and Daniel Fiatta as a project manager. And then, um, I can see, okay, in my project, I have like three work packages. So the work package three, two, and one, which are also Jira task with a certain status, for example, an assignee or a reporter. So again, it's the same topic. I'm clicking on the work package. And now every basic Jira user should know uh, what is the fact here. We have an epic, which is attached to my project. And I can see all my stories which are attached to my project. So navigating back, what is the benefit here? Or what, we, what did we do? We took all the strength of Jira, of the Jira task. We have a workflow, we have our screens, we have our attributes, we have the custom fields. We, everybody knows this. And uh, we want to show like this our portfolios and projects. So when I'm clicking on the graph here, for example, I can see I have like native links I see my portfolio task here, which is linked to all my other project tasks. When I want to, to see this in a hierarchy level, I can show it like this, show maybe some other levels. And like this, I can, I can see how complicated uh, a project management can become. 
and how strong all my entities become when I'm um, showing them on a Jira issue because I have my screens, my attributes and everything. So what we basically do or what I want to show you in this case is a combination of the standard Jira native functionalities like having multiple issue types, creating screens and linking them to other issue types, to other entities in combination with um, uh, the plugin of our house, which is Stagil Assets for Advanced Linking Management. I will sh show you afterwards the functionalities in combination with uh, the, the big picture pro project and Gantt and resource management tool. So what is Stagil Assets and what is, a, what is the advanced uh, linking management and how can I provide uh, good relation, relations in project management. You all know the functionalities of uh, basic Jira linkings. So when I'm clicking here of more and on linking, you can, for example, define uh, certain linking types and choosing every other issue that you can see or can link. So when you're thinking on big projects with like thousands issues, this can become really quick and uh, really, really intense to, to always find the right issues to link with. So our idea was to define like um, relation fields, which you can see here, included projects. This is a list of the projects that you can see here in the linking graph. So what we did here is to define uh, linking relation included projects where I'm only able to choose issues from the certain issue types, so projects. And like this, you have multiple custom fields with multiple relations where you can define um, multiple hierarchy levels. So in Jira Basic, you have three hierarchy levels. You have APIC, you have everything, task value, and then you have your subtask. So you have like three hierarchy levels. When you're counting the project itself, so the big Jira project here, you can define like four hierarchy levels. With project management of a software plan, so from big picture, and in communication with our tool, you can define all uh, certain hierarchy levels that you want to show. So, okay, I think you got the idea of linking and advanced linking and showing and, and con configure uh, certain linking types on certain issue types. And now I would like to show you um, the big picture tool to um, give you a little showcase or a sneak peek um, how you could manage these portfolio and project levels now in a big picture kind of view. So, um, to show you this, uh, this, this was the portfolio that we talked about. It's, it is the PM1, and this is uh, the basic view I would like to show you now in the big picture kind. So this is the Jira task. It is the same Jira task with the same values. And under this Jira portfolio task, you have projects. You have the PM18, 17, 2, and so on. And these are this Jira issues, which are already attached here in my project tab. So now uh, afterwards, I showed you the PM81 um, because this one has configured work packages, so, uh, so to say epics. When I open this one or when I'm uh, expanding this one, I can see that there are multiple stories, for example. And under these stories, you, you, you can easily imagine that this, there's the possibility to define some subtask or even un, uh, other issue types which are attached to my uh, relation linking, advanced linking, so I can even define more hierarchy level, hierarchy levels if it's necessary. So, okay, what do we see here? This is a big picture Gantt, um, and what we can see here is that every Jira task has a little timeline. So we have our Jira tasks here, we can find them here, uh, the color changes based on the, the status which um, this, this issue type has. And I have multiple task mode. For example, I can define my project management task mode style like 
top down or bottom up or even manually, or I can uh, lock my a certain Jira task. Uh, so to say, when I want to change this Jira task via drag and drop, it's no problem. So um, it's bidirectional. So behind this big picture Gantt, you have the Jira task with its real um, start and end date, for example. So what we see here is that the Jira task started at the 27th, uh, 27th April and will end, well, his, his planned end is at the 12th June, for example. And this is what I can see here. I see 27th April and uh, yeah, at least I can change the scale maybe to show you the dates. Um, I can see here it's the 9th of June or 12th of June. So this is what I can do and this is how I can scale up my management view or my management data, data which I already have in my Jira and to visualize this in a Gantt view, so a simple Gantt view. And for example, here I have some dependencies. So this dependency is called like a start, uh, end to start dependency. And I can see here with the symbol of my of the hand that these task mode are manual. So I can switch, for example, uh, the date of the, the task and it will, um, how to say, it would, will not be synch synchronized because my task mode is manual. When I switch this task mode, for example, to task mode to bottom up, and this one also task mode to button up. I can change it now and it will automatically automatically be synchronized. Now that uh, my end to start dependency says this task cannot start before this is ended and I have my time zone planned, I can show it like this with my several task modes and then I see that my parent parent task, the work package two, which was uh, which, which is an epic, has a critical path now because I said that my epic has a manual task mode and all his childrens has like a bottom up task mode. It will show me the critical path, but will not define a new end date. So this is uh, the the difference between these uh, several task modes. And now we have on big picture also a resource management module. So when I'm switching to this module, I can see all my assignees based on my certain teams I defined uh, earlier. I can see all their assigned Jira tasks. And what I see here is that I already uh, changed or that, that I define some workload schemes for every employee. For example, I said that uh, Holly Reze has normally a week, 40 hours um, for, for her work. Danny, Daniel Fred, for example, has like a capacity of 56 hours, for example. So what I see here um, in the, the um, calendar week of uh, uh, May 20, Holly can't work. She, ha she had no, no workload scheme because she's uh, maybe have a sick leave or she's on holiday. And therefore I see that it's grayed out. So this task will not be done by, by anyone because this was um, planned in that week where Holly can't work. So what can I do now? I can plan and I can tell, okay, this Jira task will not be done in this week or in this two weeks. I can drag and drop it here and this will immediately change her resource because now she's coming back from her sick leave or from her holiday, she's coming back in the office and we'll see, wait, I have so many issues. I can't do uh, this all, uh, all in my basic uh, resource. So uh, what is the solution now? I could say, okay, the story um, 43 in this point is not that important. I can double check it in my Gantt, uh, Gantt resource management, for example, to see if we, I have uh, any dependencies or so on. And then I can uh, tell, okay, good. I will plan it uh, three or four weeks later, then her resources become uh, uh, yellow. So it's not really good, but it, 
she will be able to, to, to fit all her work with what was planned. And uh, now everything should be fine. Or I can tell, okay, I will change the assignee of this Jira task to Daniel Fiatta. Now she is pretty fine. Holly is pretty fine now. And um, Daniel Fiatta has uh, the assignee change via drag and drop now to the PI 47. So all this is bidirectionally. So when I'm changing this longer, for example, this will change the resources of my employee and this will change the end date in life on my JIRA task. So even when I'm changing um, my values here on my JIRA task, when the developer, for example, is looking on the JIRA task and will say, no, it's not possible that I'm starting here on the 26th May because I'm on vacancy. You can change the date here if, if, uh, if you want uh, to give him this functionality to the first June, for example, and um, when I will go back to the resource management and refresh my page, we'll directly see that this Jira task also moved to the first June, for example. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the topic of uh, resource management, Jira project management, and uh, the possibility to do so in a nutshell. So these, um, Jira plugins like um, Big Picture for the resource management and Gantt management in combination of the uh, Stagil Asset Advanced Linking um, will you, give you a big po uh, possibility to even check um, every hierarchy level from portfolio to project to work package to milestone and uh, so on. To, to get a nice track and nice resource management in JIRA itself. And this is the way how we do it. So this is a solution which we thought is the best that we are winning all the possibilities of the JIRA workflow management and the screens and the attributes. So maybe to just have a quick view in the relation and uh, the task management, because I have like two minutes left when I'm uh, seeing right. Um, you can go on the task and the task structure, for example, and this is the magic behind the combination of Stegel Asset Management and um, the Big Picture Project Management or Big Picture Gantt, um, because we have defined some relations. This is the, the, the project picker that I showed you. So this is the, the relation between the issue type portfolio and the issue type project. And this is the, 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 relation, uh, the relation between the issue type project and the issue type epic in every other uh, JIRA project, for example. And this is the JIRA basic epic link. So like this, I said, okay, the first hierarchy level is from portfolio to project. The second, port portfolio, uh, the second hierarchy level is from project to work package. And I defined my work package as an epic. And the third hierarchy level um, is between EPIC and every task which is in the EPIC link and attached to that EPIC. And yeah, like this, you have uh, nice resource management, nice linking and nice hierarchy structures in your JIRA project management. So we have uh, a little time to answer your questions maybe. Exactly. I already <laughs> asked the panelists and all the participants to use the Q&A box yeah. If there are any questions, there weren't some, so maybe now someone has some questions. I think not. Maybe you can repeat your email address if someone wants to get in touch with you. Yes, sure. Um, should I uh, put that in the, in the chat maybe? Yeah, for example. Yeah, cool, good great. Idea. And I say thank you was very impressive talk. Thank you. And we have tomorrow Christian Geyer Mattison from Servado and he talks about Servado portals capitalize on the Jira investment for non-technical teams. Thank you very much and bye bye. Have a great day. Goodbye. <laughs>